my friends. Joy here. Thank you for joining me this evening. Tonight we're going to be doing our practice here in the beautiful Salt Cave in Albuquerque. I just love this space. It is so beautiful. It's got wonderful energy in it. Uh, today's practice is all about opening up the hip flexors, opening up in the low back, stretching out the quads, and building some strength, as always. We'll get started here by sitting in easy cross-legged pose, Sukhasana. We're going to press those sit bones into the mat, lengthen up the spine, crown of the head reaches up towards the sky, shoulders slightly melt away from the ears, heart comes forward. Mm, placing the head and the shoulders or the shoulder blades against an imaginary wall, naturally stacking the spine. Closing down the eyes here, let's bring our hands to heart center and set our intention for our practice. Whatever brings you to your mat today. Focusing on some long, deep breaths, long inhales. And deep exhales here. Mm, settling into the practice. Letting everything that is pulling for our attention to be left outside the room. This time is just for you. Next inhale here, let's flutter open the eyes. This practice, I'm going to call it, let's find our inner reptile. We're going to be doing a lot of lizard pose in our practice, in our sequence, or in our vinyasa. And we're going to be also doing high cobra, but it's going to be called, I call this funky cobra. And we're going to just add a little bit of difference to a cobra with the elbows up. So let's see how far we get and uh, just have fun with it. I want us to keep everything fluid. So try to find softness around those edges in your body. The strength poses we're going to be working on tonight, um, we're going to practice chair pose. And I think that's the one that we're going to work on tonight. I think that'll be a good one. This practice is going to be roughly about a half an hour. So let's go ahead and get started. So this way back and forth. Uh, just feeling into that sway, noticing the SI joints in the hips, noticing if you're tight. Uh, next inhale, let's come to center. Planting the hands into the knees here. We're going to do spinal circles. So push the sit bones into the mat and initiate this movement from your uh, base of the spine, your tailbone. All right, let's do our spinal circles. So inhale as the heart com comes forward, gaze is slightly up. And then exhale, we're going to push into the knees and we're going to round and tuck everything in. We're doing like a spiral cat and cow here, nice and slow. Feeling into the spine, noticing if there's any areas that are really tight. I know I'm really tight. I can feel it in my body. I feel like I'm, I can't move really fluid in this position, but I'm going to try to keep it as fluid as possible. Mm, reverse the direction. Next inhale, let's start to just come to center. Mm, finding ourselves in a natural seated position. We're going to take Baddha Konasana. The soles of the feet touching here, knees falling away. We're going to do cat and cow in the back again. So on a big inhale, we're going to take our hands, grab the ankles. Inhale as the heart comes forward, and then exhale, we're going to round. And tuck everything in, chin to chest. Inhale as we lengthen up the spine. 
And exhale, fold forward, rounding. Push your hands into those ankles. Inhale as we come forward one more time. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale as we lengthen up the spine here. Crown of the head reaches up. Shoulders melt away from the ears. Now let's take the forearms and just place them on the knees. Allowing this little bit of weight to create some traction and open up in the thighs. Open up in the adductors or the groin muscles here. More of the groin muscles. Not so much of the adductors. Hmm. Next inhale, let's go ahead and place our hands on the outside of the knees and gently guide those knees back together. Crossing the ankles here, we're going to meet in tabletop at the top of the mat. And we're going to do our cat and cow. Mm, let's go ahead and wiggle around here. First, organically move the spine. Notice if there's any areas of stiffness in the body. Mmm, feels really nice. All right, finding stillness here, finding ourselves in a neutral spine. Hips over the knees, shoulders over the wrist. Big inhale here as we send the sit bones up towards the sky. Belly reaches down, heart pulls through, gazes up. Exhale here, we're going to tuck the pelvic bowl towards the belly button, push the ground away, chin comes to the chest, round in that back. Inhale, send those sit bones up, belly reaches down, heart pulls through, and again, gazes up. Exhale here, tuck everything in, rounding in the back, rounding in the shoulders. Oh. Mm, push that ground away. Let's do this one more time. Inhale, sending those sit bones up, coming into our cow pose. And exhale as we tuck everything in, rounding in the back and coming into our cat pose. <laughs> Inhale here as we come back into a neutral spine. Mm. We're going to focus on opening up the wrists, making circles over the wrist. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Reverse the direction. Grip that mat with the entire hand. Mm. Find ourselves in a neutral spine again, and we're going to close the fingers up. So bring the fingers together. And we're going to externally rotate the hands until the fingertips are facing the knees. Tucking the toes here because we're going to come into toe sit. And with a big exhale, we're going to sink those hips toward the heels and lift the heel of the hand off the mat. Lifting the heel off, lifting the heel of the hand off the mat. Let's make circles with the thumbs. Going in one direction and going in the other. Next exhale, go ahead and sink the hips back a little bit further and lift the hand even more. Only leaving woo, the fingertips on the mat. Feeling that big stretch, the entire hand up the forearm here. Try not to buckle in your in your knee. Try not to buckle in the elbows. Next, ex next exhale here. Let's go ahead and take a seat on the heels. Bend in the elbows and open and close the hands. Shake them out. Mm, now we're in toe sit. Noticing the sensations in the hands. And then from here, noticing your sensations and all of a sudden the feet wake up. Woo, and noticing how it feels on the bottoms of the feet. If it's too much for you, you can come forward, untuck the toes, and tap them out, and then come back into our toe sit. Mm. Next inhale, we're going to come forward, untuck those toes. Let's go ahead and tap them out. We're going to come into our first downward-facing dog. So tuck those toes and send the hips up and back. 
into downward facing dog. Pedaling it out here, bending one knee, bending the other, lifting up the hands, placing them back down. Ah, oh. finding your pose here, separating the scapula. Mm. You can keep the knees bent if you need, or you can lengthen out whatever feels good to you. This feels really nice. On a big inhale here, we're going to lift the right toes up to the sky. Reach those toes back. And then exhale, we're going to bring the knee to the nose as we shift the body forward. And we're going to step the right foot on the outside of the right hand. Dropping the back knee down and keep that right knee glued to the right shoulder. Untucking the back toe if you'd like. Oh, and feeling into our lizard. Mm, once you're feeling into the lizard here, so you're squaring up the hips and we're going to sink the hips down, opening up this left hip flexor. Once you feel into that stretch, you can allow, if you want to go a little bit deeper, allow that right knee to fall away from the body, coming up on the pinky edge of the right foot. Coming down to the forearms here. And again, we're going to keep it nice and fluid. So try to find softness around those edges. Big inhale here. We're going to push the hands into the mat. Shoulders over the wrists. And we're going to tuck the back toe, lift the back knee. And we're going to find ourselves coming into Skandasana. So bringing the hips over towards the right side of the mat, keeping the right foot flat on the mat, and flexing this left foot. Sinking the hips down, hands to heart center here. Inhale as we press those hands into the mat. We're going to push the ground away, planting the back toe down in a 45 degree angle. Right knee is bent and inhales. We lift up, coming into warrior one. Pulling back on the left on the right hip crease and pulling forward on the left hip crease here. Inhale as we open up into warrior two. And then we're going to come into rainbow warrior here. So in Rainbow Warrior, what we're going to do is we're going to lengthen out this front leg. We're going to bend in this back knee. And then as if we're taking a bow forward and reaching the arms over towards the left. Inhale as we come back forward. And we're going to come into Reverse Warrior with both hands, bringing the hands above the head and then reaching him ah, over. Inhale as we open up into Warrior Two. And then exhale, cartwheel those hands down, plant those hands, take a big step back, downward facing dog. And let's do the other side. From downward facing dog here, we're going to big inhale as we lift the left toes up to the sky. Reach, reach back. And exhale here, knee to nose as we shift the body forward. We're going to step that left foot on the outside of the left hand, dropping the back knee down. Untucking the toes if you like. And again, finding your lizard here by squaring up the hips and sinking in. Once you find your pose, if you want to go a little bit deeper, allow the left knee to fall away from the body. Coming up on the left pinky edge of the foot and coming down to the forearms. Big inhale here as we push the ground away. Shoulders over the wrist here. Knee comes back to knee comes back to the shoulder. We're going to tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, and then we're going to sink the hips over towards the left, finding skandasana. Mm. On this side, hands to heart center here. Right toes flexed up to the sky. Big inhale as you push the ground away. We're going to plant that right foot down in a. 45 degree angle and big inhale as we lift up into warrior one. Mm. Next inhale, we're going to open up into warrior two and the back toes point forward now. Back toes pointing forward, shoulder blades draw together, fingertips reaching away from each other. And then we're going to come into rainbow warrior. So we're going to lengthen out this front leg, bend in the back knee. And then we're going to take a bow forward. Both arms come over towards the right. Inhale as we come forward, coming into warrior in the legs. And we're going to do reverse warrior with both hands. Mm. 
Inhale, coming back into warrior two. And then exhale, cartwheel those hands down and take a big step back, downward facing dog. Big inhale here as we come up to the tippy toes, tuck the chin to the chest and we wave the body forward into plank. And then exhale here, we're gonna bend in the knees and shift the hips up and back, just flossing out the spine. Inhale, lift up those toes, right toes up to the sky and tripod dog. And exhale here, knee to nose as we shift the body forward and step the right foot on the outside of the right hand. Dropping the back knee down and finding our lizard wherever it may be, and then sinking it in. <sighs> Inhale here as we push the ground away, shoulders over the wrist again, and we're gonna tuck the back toe. Coming into Skandasana again. Mm, hands to heart center here. Inhale as we push the ground away. Back toes come to a 45 degree angle. We're going to find warrior one again. Fingertips reach up to the sky. Inhale as we open up into warrior two. Back toes point forward. And this time we're going to flip the front palm and we're going to reverse the warrior. Mm. Big exhale here as we come back into warrior two. And then inhale as we lengthen out the front leg. Hips go back. Woo! From warrior two here, inhale as we lengthen out the front leg, send the hips back, and we bring the right hand down to the mat or the block or your ankle, whatever feels good to you. Reach the left fingertips up to the sky or overhead. Next exhale here, we're going to plant that left hand down, lift the back heel and bend in the front knee, coming into a low lunge. Heart comes forward. Next inhale here, we're going to take a push and step that left foot to meet the right foot and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, crown of the head reaching forward. And then exhale, fold. Big inhale as we push the feet into the ground with a bend in the knees. We're going to come to standing. Arms are heavy, chin is tucked to the chest. Inhale as we reach the fingertips up to the sky. And exhale, hands to heart center here. Inhale here as we reach the fingertips up to the sky. And exhale, hands to heart center here. And we're going to continue to fold forward, folding at the hips, leading with the heart. Forward fold, relax the neck and the head. Planting the hands here, we're going to take a big step back to the back of the mat in downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale here as we lift the left toes up to the sky, reaching those left toes back. And then exhale here, knee to nose as we shift the body forward and step the left foot on the outside of the left hand. Dropping the back knee here and finding our lizard wherever it may lie. <sighs> Sinking in here. Mm. Big inhale as we push the ground away. Shoulders over the wrist again. Knee glued to that shoulder. Tuck the back toes. Lift that back heel. Flex that right foot. And skandasana here. Inhale as we push the hands into the mat. Plant that back foot at a 45 degree angle. And again, we find ourselves in warrior one. Hmm. Feeling into this stretch. Inhale here as we open up into warrior two. Back toes point forward. Flip that front palm and then we're gonna reverse the warrior. Mm. Big exhale as we come into warrior two here. And then inhale as we lengthen out this front leg and send the hips back and bring that left hand down to the ankle, the mat or a block. Right fingertips can reach up to the sky or overhead, whatever feels good to you. And next exhale here, we're going to plant the right hand down, lift the back heel, and bend in this front knee, coming into a low lunge, heart coming forward, back knee is lifted. Big step forward, right foot meets the left foot, and forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift, and give yourself a little wiggle in the booty. And exhale, fold. 
Layering on a little bit more here. We're going to plant the hands and we're going to take a big step back to the back of the mat, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale here as we come up to the tippy toes, tuck the chin to the chest and we wave the body forward into plank. Exhale here as we bend in the knees and we shift the hips up and back into downward facing dog. Big inhale as we lift those right toes up to the sky and tripod dog. And exhale here, knee to nose as we shift the body forward and step that right foot on the outside of the right hand. Coming into our lizard pose again, finding it wherever it may be. Inhale as we push the ground away, shoulders over the wrist, and we find Skandasana again at the top of the mat. Right foot or left foot is flexed up towards the sky. Next inhale, we're going to push the ground away here, drop that back heel down, and we're going to find warrior one again. Mm. <sighs> inhale as we open up into warrior two. A little bit of foot play in the back foot. Flip that front palm, and let's reverse the warrior. Mm, inhale as we come forward into warrior two. <sighs> and then inhale again as we lengthen out this front leg, send those hips back, and we're coming into triangle pose. Reaching. Woo! Those left fingertips up to the sky or overhead. Exhale here as we plant that right hand down, or left hand down. Lift the back heel and bend in the front knee back. Knee is lifted, low lunge. Inhale as we push forward with those left toes. Left foot meets the right foot and forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift, crown of the head reaching forward. And then exhale, fold. Slight bend in the knees and let's push those feet into the mat as we come to standing. Arms are heavy, chin is tucked to the chest. Inhale here as we reach the fingertips up to the sky. And exhale, hands to heart center. Mm -hmm. Coming into chair pose here. Big inhale as we reach the fingertips up to the sky. Big toes touching, heels slightly apart. And exhale as we take a seat in. Taking a seat down in our chair pose. Heart is coming forward, gaze is forward. And you can take a look down, check to see if you see your toes. If you can see your toes, then you're doing this perfect. If not, sink the hips back a little bit more. And the big exhale, forward fold. Plant those hands and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale here as we come up to the tippy toes, tuck the chin to the chest, and we wave the body forward into plank. Exhale as we bend in those knees and shift the hips up and back into downward facing dog. Inhale here as we lift the left toes up to the sky, reach back. And then exhale, knee to nose as we shift the body forward and step that left foot on the outside of the left hand. Finding our lizard pose again here. Allowing the knee to fall away from the body. Mm. Untucking the back toes if you'd like. Inhale, push the ground away, shoulders over the wrist, left knee to the left shoulder, tuck the back toes, lift that back heel, and let's find Skandasana again here. Inhale as you push the ground away, drop that back heel at a foot, I should say, at a 45 degree angle, and inhale as we come up into warrior one. Next inhale, let's open up into warrior two. Flip the front palm and inhale, let's reverse the warrior. Exhale, coming back into warrior two. And inhale as we lengthen out the front leg, send those right hips back and the left arm comes down to the block, the mat, or your ankle. Next exhale, let's go ahead and plant that right hand down, lift that back heel, bend in the front knee, and we're coming into a low lunge with the back knee lifted, heart coming forward, gaze is forward. Take a big step forward, inhale, and forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift, crown of the head reaching forward. And exhale, fold. Inhale as we come up to standing here. Nice and slow. Mm, reaching those fingertips up to the sky. Oh, and exhale. Hands to heart center here. Coming into chair pose again. Big toes touching, heels slightly apart. And big inhale as we reach the fingertips up to the sky. And exhale, let's go ahead and take a seat in. Mm. One more round of breath here. And then big exhale, forward fold. Planting the hands here. Let's go to take a big step to the back of the mat in downward facing dog. Inhale here as we come up to the tippy toes, tuck the chin to the chest, and we wave the body forward into plank. And exhale here, we're going to bring the knees down, untuck the toes, and go ahead and take a seat on the heels here. Mm. Let's bring our hands together at heart center and close down the eyes. Mm. Shifting the hips over to one side or the other, and we're going to bring the legs out in front of us, keeping the knees bent here, and we're going to take a twist. So let's go ahead and bring the left knee down to the mat, knee in front of you. We're going to take this right ankle and place it on the outside of this left knee. Push both sit bones into the mat. We're going to hug that right knee into the heart. Plant the right hand behind you. Big inhale as you lengthen up the spine, and exhale, twist over towards the right. Mm. Inhale as we come back to center. Leaning back on the hands, we're going to do the other side. Bending in that right knee, right knee pointing forward, and left ankle on the outside of the right knee. Hugging in this left knee with the right arm. Inhale, lengthen up the spine. And exhale, twist over towards the left. Ah, this feels really nice. Mm, I hope you feel really nice and loosened up here. I'm going to finish the practice here. Mm, and big inhale, let's come forward. And crossing the knees, finding ourselves in easy cross-legged pose, Sukhasana. <sighs> hands come together to heart center here, closing down the eyes if you'd like, or bringing the hands to the knees, palms facing up or palms facing down, whatever feels good to you. Again, push those sit bones into the mat, Lengthen up the spine. Shoulders melt away from the ears. Closing down the eyes. And let's take several breaths. Slowing it all down. Mm. Bringing the hands together at heart center in prayer. Mm, and thanking ourselves for showing up this evening or this afternoon, whatever time it is in your area. Getting some quick opening in the hips, hips fle hip flexors, and in the low back. Also in the quads. Mm. Next inhale, let's flutter open the eyes, and we can go on with the rest of our day. Thank you for joining me this evening. I hope you enjoyed this short practice. I hope you guys feel a little bit more open, finding your inner reptile. Oh, we didn't do Funky Cobra, did we? I guess Funky Cobra will have to be in the next video. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and I will see you next week. And there's some information down below. So if you guys want to practice with me live, I am 
teaching at the Salt Cave in Albuquerque. So you can reach out to me there and maybe we can practice together. But for now, have a good evening and I will see you guys next week. Take care. Bye.